If you've been following our channel for a while, you will know that Brian has had a bit of a saga with ring gear. From a selection of seam failing rain jackets. Well, yeah, if you carry in heavy packs, I thought you can see where it, this is what the seam should be like. Nice flat. I put seam sealer on it to hopefully repair it, but you can see all the seam sealer, the original just coming off. Over an inappropriate poncho, nothing's really ever worked for him. So we thought we'd give this 3F UL poncho slash rain jacket hybrid a shot. Just got me poncho from China. You know, I was having a load of trouble with rain jacket. I've decided not to have a rain jacket anymore. The poncho that we got in America, got there, that wasn't very good. So, I'm uh, going to try this one out. 7.6 ounces. It weighs in at 215 grams. I don't think I'll ever get that back in. That's so tightly packed. The Hobbit is back. I just said I look like a Hobbit. We let it through. Yeah. Right, I think it's a backpack. It looks like it will be, yes. This will go over my backpack. Yeah. So you won't get any rub in there. Yeah. Got elastics. Um, Got the there. Oh, that's you can clip it round if you think it's too long. Well, I can think that. What's that for? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, so you've actually made a seam at the bottom of it. I was just wondering, what, what is that? Yeah, so that, that, it's just shortens it by, well, what's that like? Three, six four, inches. About six inches, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get it back in. <laughs> That'll be the challenge. It started to rain. Here's Brian, sporting his new rain cover for the first time. Rain, hail and snow today. My new uh, waterproof jacket thing. This is what from it looks like. China. Yeah. Uh, it's really neat, it kind of clips. Yeah, it clips you get, up in the front there. Yeah. It has proper sleeves, which was yeah. the problem with the last poncho thing yeah. Brian had because it just it left your arms exposed and it was just flapping everywhere. And this thing you can just tighten up. It covers the backpack. And apart not, from not that the backpack needs it because it's Cuban fibre. It's a hyperlite backpack. Yeah. So apart from him looking like a massive smurf now. <laughs> if you're on your own, you don't know if it's gone right over your backpack. Yeah, if you imagine there being a big hump at the back. Especially in windy conditions. I mean, I found that when we were doing the Cumbria Way, every time Brian changed in and out of the jacket, I went round to make sure that it actually yeah. had gone off over the back of the, the backpack. Yeah. Now, this might have been the wind or, or just us being still relatively new to, to the poncho yeah. thing, but so, that's just something to bear in mind. That like everything else, you sweat in here, or it keeps the rain off, all so. seam sealed inside. And I kept the rain out. As a, a breathable material, I don't think there is such a thing. You still work sweating it, obviously. But apart from it being thin, and you're going light lightweight again, it's perfect. Being such lightweight material, it is prone to snagging. 
and we did manage on the hike to rip a little hole in it. Absolutely no idea when or where. It could be anything. So there's a snack. I don't know if you can see that it's perfectly following the um, the mesh of the material. So it's going to be a really easy fix. And what are you using to fix it? Uh, our polytunnels. Polytunnel repair tape. <laughs> This is Heidi's baking tool. And we'll also put a piece on the other side. If we can find it. Yeah. This is that piece. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is just about to see it. Uh, so. I like it. Yeah, as there's, there's only one down, I, I, I couldn't be sure that it was on my back. But, yeah. I wish I had it on the PC too.